Hi everybody, I'm Roberta with The Elegant Occasion. Welcome to my home. You know, every Thursday my husband Tom and I go out on a date. And we usually just sit and relax and go out to dinner and you know, it's nice every once in a while to be served. But it's such a beautiful summer day and I know the evening's gonna be just as lovely. I've decided to cook at home and make a romantic dinner for two. So the first thing we're starting out with is a wonderful chilled gazpacho soup. Gazpacho is basically a chilled tomato soup made with beautiful vegetables. So I have my tomatoes and this is a super simple soup to make. Put everything in the bowl of a food processor and then you just chill it. So I have tomatoes, I have an English cucumber. You can certainly use a regular cucumber. I like the English cucumber because there's no seeds and you can keep the skin on. It's very tender and a green bell pepper. Put it all in there. And so you just want to pulse it so that all the vegetables blend together. The colors are so pretty. Great. Now I'm going to add fresh cilantro. It gives it such a clean flavor, and cilantro uh, pairs very well with the acidity of the lime juice we're gonna add a little bit later, and it really makes it very fresh tasting. Now I have a red onion. Again, you're gonna get the measurements for all this right off the website after the show. Please note that I don't like too much onion, so I don't use as much as other recipes may call for, but it's all personal preference, whatever you like. If you love the taste of the onion, by all means, add more. Make it your own, change it up. And I've got some garlic and lime juice. And now, just gonna give it another couple of pulses. And this is where we add tomato juice. I use a low sodium tomato juice because I really like to make sure that I'm controlling the salt that's in my dishes. Now when that's done, take it out, pour it into a bowl. You want to use a non-reactive bowl, so glass is best. Oh, it smells so fresh. It smells like a garden. And then for seasonings, garlic salt. black pepper, and then I'm just going to stir in good quality olive oil. Always want to make sure that you're using good quality extra virgin olive oil. That's all there is to it. This soup needs to chill for four to six hours. You can certainly make it a day in advance. It's good for up to four days in the refrigerator. So all I'm going to do is cover it with saran wrap, put it in the fridge, let it chill, and a little bit later on I'm going to show you how easy and beautiful it is to plate. This beautiful gazpacho, which chilled for several hours, I just garnished it with a dollop of creme fraiche, some more cilantro over the top, and just a wedge of lime. 